Here's a look from the KTVO Skycam that's located on top of the Milan High School in Milan, brought to you by Heritage House Realty. And those rain showers continue to move through, but temperatures into the mid to upper 40s, very chilly across the area. Uh, we do have some moderate to heavy rain that's going to continue to push through over the next couple of hours uh, before we do have some clearing off to the west and a little bit of drying out as well. So here's what we're looking at right now. Mount Pleasant area is still receiving some moderate uh, heavy rain showers as well. Kiyosaka getting a little bit of a break as well as Bloomfield, but Bloomfield you will be receiving more uh, within probably within the next half an hour or so. Centerville, Albia area, and here is why Bloomfield is going to be receiving some heavy rainfall because as we head into Missouri, Unionville area, Lancaster uh, is getting some heavy rainfall right now. That's off to the northeast, and that's what Bloomfield is going to be getting very shortly. Kirksville area, just some light to moderate rain showers, showers as well as Macon and Edina. The good news is it'll be out of here within the next few hours. But take a look at these impressive rain totals so far. And I say so far because we're going to be adding on to this over the next couple of hours. Cantrell three inches down in 1.6. Kiyosaka one and a half here at the station 86 hundreds. Farmington and Birmingham looking about eight tenths of an inch. So we're going to be adding on to those over the next few hours as uh, those rain showers continue to move out. Probably hearing a few rumbles of thunder as well. We heard it a little bit earlier here at the station. So those temperatures as we're heading to about nine to ten o'clock, that's when the rain will move off to the east into Illinois. On the backside, we could see just a little bit of lingering sprinkles, maybe a shower here and there. But I think for the most part, after midnight, we will remain dry. However, we're going to start to see some patchy fog develop, so we'll have to be dealing with that very early tomorrow. In fact, it might not even burn off until about 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning. Temperature wise, though, not really moving very much from where we are right now. Overnight lows are only falling to about 47, 46 degrees and warming up into near 60 degrees. But though the cloudy skies will remain with us throughout the day on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night, a slight chance we could see a lingering sprinkle or shower, but I think for the most part we will remain dry. Thursday, though, we'll start to warm back up and see more sunshine as those clouds continue to move off to the north and to the east as we're heading into the afternoon. The brisk winds that we've been dealing with all day, they will continue to die down as well. Still out of the northwest, uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour as we're heading throughout the day on Wednesday, becoming light and variable late tomorrow night and into Thursday. So temperatures right now, we are looking on the chilly side, 48 degrees in Kirksville, 50 right now in Ottumwa. Centerville coming in at 46 degrees. And I told you we had a big temperature difference between yesterday and today. 20 degrees difference, 78 yesterday. Actually, our high was 58, and that came shortly after midnight. So there's that 20 degrees difference between yesterday and today. The good news is we are going to start to warm up as we're heading into late week. Starting things out tomorrow morning, out the door, 47 degrees with some foggy conditions. So just remember to take it easy out there tomorrow morning. 56 degrees at noontime with cloudy skies, 60 degrees as your high on Wednesday. But we're warming things up. 70 degrees on Thursday, we'll see more sunshine, plenty of sunshine, 80 degrees on Friday. Here comes another system pushing in late Friday night and Saturday, bringing us a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe on Saturday, something we're keeping a close eye on. 75 degrees on Saturday, cooling down to 64 on Sunday. Overnight lows into the 40s, 50s to near 60. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO. Dot com. So we got a lot of rain today. More rain is coming as we're heading <laughs> into the weekend. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Coming up next in.